Supreme Leader in Iran orders scientists to be ready to increase uranium enrichment. The Iranian regime's Supreme Leader said on Monday that Iran will not relent to US pressures on its nuclear program, ordering Iranian scientists to get ready to increase uranium enrichment capabilities if necessary, and vowing that Iran won't give up its missile program. He tweeted, Today, the young generation has made Iran the number one missile power of the region. Our enemies know that if they hit us with one missile, they'll be hit back with ten of them. Missiles are for security, they're a source of power. Peugeot owner PSA begins to suspend Iran joint ventures. The French car maker said it had begun to suspend its joint ventures in Iran and will look for a waiver protecting it from US sanctions after the Trump administration pulled out of the nuclear deal. Following the US withdrawal, PSA began the process of suspending the activities of its JVs in order to comply with US law by August 6, 2018. Sanctions hit 5.6 billion worth of Korean refinery projects in Iran. Korean contractor Day Lim has cancelled a $2 billion contract to modernise a refinery in the Iranian city of Eshafan, and a similar fate may befall a $3.6 billion deal with Hyundai. Sanctions are also expected to hit a $3.6 billion deal between Iran, Hyundai and Japan's Toyota Corporation to construct the Syraf refining park in the southeastern coastal province of Busha. Iran protest reports from numerous cities, June 4th. Despite reports and claims promoted by the Iranian regime and state media, protests are spreading throughout the country, with people from all walks of life voicing increasing demands and going on strike in their efforts to have their demands realised. Here are just a few. A group of medical exam students rallied for the second consecutive day in the cities of Tehran, Rasht, Mashhad, Shiraz and Ishafan. Employees of the Varenin Milk Factory in Baramin, southeast of Tehran, held a protest rally on Sunday. Employees of a petrochemical company, along with their family members, rallied in Meshashah, southwest Iran. For the second consecutive day, employees of the Avaz National Drilling Company held a protest rally outside the governor's office. Employees of the Banda Abbas shipping yard went on strike today protesting the non-receivement of their paycheck for the past few months. Iranian truck drivers in Ishapan and Tehran continue their strike. On Monday, June 4th, despite the Iranian government's threat to break the strike of truck and heavy vehicle drivers, the truck drivers in Ishapan continued their strike for the 14th consecutive day. Also, in the parking lot of Iran Kudra in Tehran, due to the lack of tow trucks and the strike of truck drivers, Iran Kudra parkings have been filled with vehicles that have not been moved. Women prevented from watching beach soccer in Busha. The security department of the Ministry of Sports and Youths prevented women from sitting to watch a beach soccer match between South Pars and Shaheen Kaza on Friday night, June 1st. The spectators chanted slogans in support of women and called for official support for their presence to watch the game. A number of women waited outside until the end of the game, but they were not allowed in and they did not manage to watch the game.